In this video, we'll talk about how we can use Spring Boot in Java to create a REST API and also learn about different concepts and tools which Spring Boot provides uh, to build a better application and build better web services. So in this video, we'll talk about how we can create a Spring Boot project and also run a Spring Boot, uh, a Spring Boot project and see uh, the server running. So the best part about Spring Boot is that you don't need uh, a Tomcat server uh, running separately and have a Java project uh, connecting with it. Everything is provided by Spring Boot. Uh, all you have to do is know the basics of Java and some basics of Spring. So to continue or to watch this video, make sure that you have some basics of Java in your pocket and also some basics of Spring. Uh, you can find them in the programming knowledge channel. And once you're done with that, you can come ahead and start watching this video. So in this video, we'll talk about how we can create a Spring Boot project. So for that, the first thing which you need is uh, an IDE. So the IDE which we're going to use for this video is Spring Tools Boot. So it's by or for Eclipse and it's completely open source. So go ahead and download the one which you have for your operating system. Uh, I have a Mac, so I had donated the Mac 64-bit Spring Tools Suite. And yeah, so once we are done with this, uh, you can start following uh, the tutorial. And so this is how your Spring Boot tools look like. So uh, we'll be creating uh, a REST service or a REST API. And this is going to be uh, the hello world of REST API, which is going to be a to-do list API where you can uh, add tasks to your to-do list. You can delete them, you can update them. So you'll have all the CRUD operations, which is create, update, and delete. And we'll be building that using Java Spring Boot. And we'll see how we can connect to the database, uh, a MySQL database, and also see how we can work with REST services. So what is a model view controller, the MVC architecture, and how does that work? So we have a lot of cool things going, we are going to happen inside our uh, tutorials. So Keep watching and let's start uh, first creating a Spring Boot project, which you can use to actually start building up on top of your Spring Boot application. So I have my uh, Spring Boot, uh, Spring Tool Suit running, STS for short. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start a new project. So it can be anything. It can be a Java project, a Spring Starter project. But uh, the most easiest way or the most comfortable way I know uh, to start one is to create a Maven project. So go to other click on Maven project or next and we'll be creating a simple project and we can build on top of that later. So we have a very simple project here. Go to next, give it a group ID. So group ID is basically a name for what you want to do. So we'll just call it to do list, to do list. The artifact ID is going to be the same and we'll have, we'll let the version be a 0.0.1 .0 snapshot or nothing against that. And the name is going to be again, to do list. No need to give a description here and we'll add a parent later. So simple uh, naming conventions to a project, a to do list API. So we'll have it the name as to do list. When we click on finish and we have a to do list project here. So as you can see, we haven't added anything to our project right now, but there's still a lot of things here. So we have a GRE system library, we have Java resources test folder, a Pomod XML. So we'll talk about what Maven is and what Pom is. And before all of that, uh, the one thing which I forgot to mention was that you need to have, uh, which is unobvious, you need to have Java installed in your computer. So make sure that you have Java. So uh, you can just do Java dash version and make sure that it's 1.8 or above. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if there's, another, uh, if there's a newer one than 1.8, but make sure that you have Java installed and you have it and you can confirm it by running Java dash version. Great. So now that we have created our to-do list uh, project, a Maven project. So Maven is basically uh, a, a single point of repositories where you have all your jar files. So if you want to uh, add any jar files to your project, add uh, an API or add a framework or a jar, you can do that by using Maven and especially uh, this POM file. So the POM file basically uh, acts as a way uh, for you to download jars in your project uh, by giving the POM file the name, uh, the uh, version number of the jar which you want, etc, etc. So this is how you actually do it. And we'll be filling up our POM file first. Uh, make sure that we have all the things which we need uh, to start our project. 
So let's start by doing that. So let me just uh, quickly open the form here. So first thing which we need is a parent tag. So I'll talk about this in a minute. So uh, this is a parent XML tag and the parent is basically Spring Boot, Spring Boot Start a Parent. So this tag uh, tells the project that the project is a child of the Spring Boot parent jar. So this tells uh, the project that we'll be using Spring Boot and this is a Spring Boot application which we're going to build. So again, uh, group ID, artifact ID, the names, uh, the version, etc., etc. And this is how we tell our project that this is a parent project or a child project of the parent, which is Spring Boot. Okay. The next thing which we need is uh, simple dependencies. So dependencies are basically the jars which is going to help you uh, get automatically installed in your uh, project and you can just use them directly. So the first thing which we need is Spring Boot Starter Web. This is basically provides you with all, all sorts of annotations and functions which can help you quickly build a REST API or web services very, very, very easily. And after this, uh, another thing which we need is the properties tab. Uh, a lot allocates some properties to our uh, file. So we have properties Java version 1.8, as you guys know. Just hit refresh and make sure that uh, everything is stable. And before we uh, complete, uh, the last thing which you need to do is basically update your project. So go to your project, click double right click on it and go to Maven click update project okay just to make sure that your uh, dependencies are downloaded and your pom files are ready and to make sure that your properties is 1.8 okay so great we have updated our maven file main project a pom file so pom file has three things first is the parent which is a spring boot starter parent next is dependencies uh, which is spring boot starter web which gives you all sorts of annotations functions and the last thing is properties, which is the Java version, which you're going to use inside our project. Okay. The next thing which we need to do is create uh, a starting point for our Spring Boot application, which basically runs the server. So once that is done, we'll actually have our server running on top uh, on port 8080 localhost and see how that works. So let's start by doing that. Let's start doing that now. So in your SRC main Java right here, you're going to create a new class which is going to be to do list. Let me just say to do list. Yeah. So this particular uh, class is going to be having a main function, main method, because this is the starting point of where how we actually run our Spring Boot application. So click on finish, and we should be good to go. Give it a minute. And great. So now we have a to-do list uh, starting point for our project. And all we need to do is just have a couple of annotations to actually run this. So to actually uh, make this Java project a Spring Boot project. So make sure, uh, uh, know that this is still a Java project. Uh, we have downloaded and installed the jars and dependencies which we need on the POM file, but we haven't actually used them. So it is still a Java project or a Maven project. So now what we do is make this a Spring Boot application. So for that, we have some annotations. So first we do is Spring, not Sprung, Spring Boot application. And we import that. So if you just hover on top of it and you just do this. Now this has become officially become a Spring Boot application. And next thing which you have to do is basically uh, run it. So you say sp Spring boot application dot run so let me just quickly see what this was i keep forgetting the syntax so sorry about that it's a spring application my bad so we have booted it so we just do spring application dot run and we have two arguments here uh, for our run method. First is a source, basically, which is which is going to ask us or tell the project where to run or what class to run. So we'll be running the to-do list dot Java file, the class. So we just say to-do list dot class. 
and the arguments are going to be args which can be passed and in the project right from here so this is how we actually uh, create or develop a spring boot project now let's run this and see what we get so we'll be running it as a simple java application because the annotations handle the spring boot part of it so we don't have to worry about that press ok and uh, we just wait for a couple of minutes so this should be showing on the bottom but i have it on top because i think it's easier to see uh, what's running and what's not so you don't have to worry about that so now when you scroll here you see that uh, the tomcat has started on so port 8080 so you can go here go to 8080 click enter and huh, so we get a white label error page so basically we just uh, ran a server so we don't have anything yet on the server and when there's nothing uh, spring boot goes to the error slash error page and as there is no explicit mapping for the error page you see this as fallback so this is a default by spring boot so don't worry uh, you haven't done anything wrong yet uh, it's perfectly working the spring boot uh, server is on and you have a web service already there the server is up without anything uh, any much effort all you have to do is now start keep adding stuff to it so that you know this becomes a fully fledged REST application so uh, that's it for this video uh, in this video we talked about how, to, how you can actually create a spring boot project efficiently and uh, in the next video, we'll talk about how we can uh, create or implement a REST controller using Spring Boot and keep continuing this tutorial. So uh, just to reiterate on what we had done uh, since the beginning. First, we install Spring Toolsuit uh, for Eclipse, open source, anything works here. Next, you create a new project. So go to File, New, go to Other and create a Maven project. After you're done with that, uh, go to your pom.xml and let me just close this yeah go to your format xml and uh, add the spring boot starter parent as your parent id and add the dependencies of spring boot starter web and make sure that your java properties are 1.8 so that this is ready to actually start building up your spring boot application so yeah this is it for the video uh, we'll be building more on top of our to-do list rest api using spring so uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.